Okay, hello. Welcome back to pretty much the exact same spot I left off. For those of you who haven't been following the storyline, I'm a mercenary working for a terrorist organization. Blew up a Mako reactor, which had more damage than uh, we initially created, which is not entirely our fault, but kind of is our fault. You know how that goes. So you met a lovely flower girl. She gave me that little yellow flower there. And uh, was attacked by an enemy that was initially invisible, then, you know, became visible and became, looked a lot like Dementors from Harry Potter. And, yes, I managed to coolly hop onto the train. That's the story so far. Yeah. Pretty soon I'm going to have to not do all these recaps. Oh, very. this is very... I like this. It's a slight noir feel to that there. Yeah. Hmm, Wu-Tai. Reference to something that happens much later in the game. That is cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, I, I'm actually happy they made a Wu-Tai reference, because that indicates that, maybe not in this game, but in a later version that one of my characters favorite characters from the original game might be showing up. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Let's talk to Wedge. Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Clyde. Stop that right now! I am... Um, are you the one who's grabbed my throat on a don't. date when it happens? Yeesh. You don't make it easy. You're thieves getting my money. Yeah, that's true. Might as well be me cleaning up the office. Ah, everybody's talking over me. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? Hey, got a second? All right, let's. Uh, okay, I know I'm supposed. To, there we go. <laughs> holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight. I'm a soldier. Wow, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. You see, my daughter now lives in Sector Eight, so. Yeah, once your hands stop shaking, that's when you. That's that's not good. All right, let's see. Let's see, Wu Tai again reference. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. This is probably in the original game. She showed me the map. Oh, nope. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I doubt this will be the last attack on a reactor. All right, let's see if I can go through. Yep. Can go into the next carriage and ah. Uh, what kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? Uh, they've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. <gasps> really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, low profile, Just Barrett. Who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. <laughs> With a Gatling gun for an arm. Really? <laughs> oh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble she, opinion, she has that a point. explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. See, this is why they got people don't like to travel on trains and public transport. Y'all's masters. <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. Valid point. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> of course, it's probably the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? 
It's a valid point. We should go. Right. <laughs> Thank you for keeping a low profile. You know we're wanted by pretty much everyone on the planet at this point. Ugh. I didn't hear anything. You gotta believe me. You All right. that suit. Shinra creed my ass. Uh, let's we're the see. good guys, damn it. Um. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Okay, yeah. All right, so this is the Jesse showing me the map part, I think. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, mm -hmm. we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. Yeah, that's all not that creepy and at more all. Is automatically cross referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Mm -hmm. Heads up. <laughs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. Mm. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky. That I always love that line. Gotta struggle to survive. The pizza in the sky. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Mm. And it's cut to cool. There's only one way it can go. Mm, good metaphor. Darn, they they did a ah. In the original game, there was like a cutscene with it showing kind of the train moving amongst, you know, the big city and stuff. It looked really cool. Does it looks like they cut that part out though? Ugh. Just nothing. I'm so sad. Yep. Home sweet slum. Knew it couldn't be that bad. No way. Mm -hmm. Hot damn, we are good. <laughs> yes. Bombs detonated one. Members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah. Guys. Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Uh huh. Yeah, you you like should be the one talking, Barrett. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep away. I love it when the game you treats you me. like you're a moron, <laughs> just to explain it to you. All right, let's explore. What? Boom. So, in the original game, there was you could go off into the train yard and 
fight a bunch of things and get your levels up. Doesn't necessarily look like it's the case here. <coughs> so, we shall see. Yep. They're actually doing the voices quite well for crowds. People just talking. Very cool. Ooh, maybe I can get a hot dog. Nah. Hear me out. A whole heap. I wish I could tell you, but sadly I don't share your passion. Nobody just left treasure chests just lying around, did they? Ugh. Oh, what is up with that? That the voice mixing for the crowds is just yeah. Like I said, it's really good. It sounds almost like walking through a crowd and hearing various snippets of conversation. Let's get through here. That's what I heard on the train, anyway. Avalanche. That sounds good. Tom Plady's only had it so good because of the reactors. I've always wondered why they called it Avalanche. There's no real explanation for that. You know, I, I could possibly see the logic as like it's yeah something you don't see it coming and it just completely t wipes you out, man. But who knows? Anyway. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel. Maybe work. they feel the way. to tell me that's the not same progress? <laughs> 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 Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've got those mysterious things. We've got these dangerous flashbacks that could just be because I'm a Mako Junkie. Anyway, let's look around. See if there's any treasure I can find. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. So I can hear the game, man. Oh, let's see. What do we have here? Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No Ain't reason to check it out. Not my problem. Interesting, huh? You don't right. want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. Wait, isn't that, uh, oh, what's that? Patrick Warburton? That sounds like Patrick hey, Warburton. Where do you think you're going? Huh? I I swear that's Patrick Warburton. Anyway, be cool. He's a good. He's a great voice actor. Did uh, the voice of Kronk. Let's see what's over here. Can't get uh, past here. Excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You mm. call that a warning? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. All right, let's see. Just exploring everywhere. Ah, there we are. Here we we hit the Sector Seven slums. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, the camera's pulling me in a certain way. You know how that goes. Oh. Aw, I thought I could go up there. Oh, well. Mm. So there is Seventh Heaven. And apparently I have to go to Seventh Heaven at this point. Okay. <laughs> and there's Tifa. Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I am. Welcome back. Aww. Have you been a good girl? 
Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <laughs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Oh, I lost a lot. Yellow flower. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Ah, Daddy, eggs and chips. The place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. But, uh, good. Oh, let's talk to Marlene. What does she have to say? Uh. Think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? <laughs> Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a <laughs> good girl you are, remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? Money. I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. But, but money. Money. Ugh. Are you, am I not getting paid um, for this? Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. I think I like Tiffa's outfit. It's almost exactly money, like it was in the original, or at least how I pictured just it. Just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Uh, so I get my how own apartment. It, it was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into our guests. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. Yep, don't like Shinra. make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. Really not. That. Look around. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. It was so kind of like a war zone. It wasn't that bad? Was yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Oh, right. Why, why, why did you even say that, Cloud? It made no Okay. <clears throat> and here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the uh, second floor. Seems to remind me of a f flashback scene. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. So return to base. Oh, that's Tifa's. And is this one mine? Oh, I here's see. Here's your room, 202. Okay. Don't worry, I already <laughs> told the landlady about you. You did? What yes? did you say? I deny everything. Oh, I mean, I you told lied. her I had a friend lied. looking for a place to oh. stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? Ever. That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. Mm. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Go to bed, Cloud. Go to bed. Go to sleep. I wonder if I can decorate my room, like put up posters. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? And I can use it I to do. buy materia and, and love weapons. And we to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... 
Five hundred. Sorry, we spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. And I'm With happy to help you. Me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. I think we've all lived in places like this before. Bear, sleeping, yep. Something tapping on the pipes in the middle of the night. Good reflexes, Cloud. Guess it's time for introductions. All right. Let's find out what's next door. Noisy neighbor. So this is was not in the original game, so I'm really wondering where it's going to go and how it's going to be handled. Hmm. Hey. You okay in there? Oh. Come it's a Dementor. In. Oh. Don't you just hate it? Your roommate is Sephiroth. Introducing a lot of elements a lot earlier. What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Okay, Tifa, just common sense. If somebody just tried to kill someone else, you don't ask them to check in on their neighbor. I'm just just saying. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> it's nice that they're introducing like the whole reunion. Okay, how do you sleep with that arm pad? I'm just saying. Anyway. As I was saying, nice they were introducing the reunion thing so early. You know, now that I think about it, all, all the Final Fantasy characters tend to sleep in their clothes. I've never really thought about that until now, but it does seem a little odd now that I think about it. Yeah. Anyway. Ooh. Let's check on my neighbor, see if he needs killing. I mean... <laughs> apparently I'm not going to. Ooh. I can go up the stairs. I found a chest or something. Phoenix down, yay! I, I always feel so happy when I find the chests on my own and I don't have to like look it up online or anything. Let's see. Let's explore. <laughs> Stiff around? Nope. So apparently I I need a key or something, maybe. Eh. Or it has to be story plot driven. Well now, you must be Cloud. Must I? I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. Mm. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. Aww. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. 
Good. Wow. Now you'd best get a move on <laughs> to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Well, I had bad dreams and was attacked by a Sephiroth and ugh, it's all horrible. Anyway. So let's see what's over here. Hmm. The watch is saying they're gonna step up their game. How? Ain't they shorthanded? Absolutely. Searching for candidates. That who Wedge mentioned? The merchant? <laughs> that sword's massive. What does he sell again? Okay. This here street behind me is Scrap Boulevard. It's crawling with monsters. But watch make sure they don't get out. Ah. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. So, no reason to check it out. Not my problem. If you don't want to get hurt, keep your distance. So it looks like that might be a later thing where you'll side quest or mission where you'll have to check that out searching for candidates ah uh, candidates <laughs> see what's up here <laughs> everybody does we keep putting off not much really something about the monsters on scrap boulevard stronger you can do it. Okay. So it looks like they're uh oh, can't go up there. I keep trying getting more sleep. That's the best cure all down here. Mm. Yeah. So a, a little, you know, advice for the game: like sleeping is cures everything. I always wonder about the logic, truthfully. But what's this way? See what's over here. Go find somewhere else to hang out. Wow, rude. Okay. Take a picture, why don't you? Are you selling something here? Or... Purses. I need a purse. Oh, well, I don't. But hmm. <gasps> somehow I found my way to Seventh Heaven. Let's go take a look at the pub. <gasps> kitty. Tell me I can pet the kitty. Kitty, it's kitty, oh, Kip, aww. I'm not. What's happening to the plant? Ah, oh, that's a little sad. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. So be really loud. I mean, quiet. Let's quiet. Let's go to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. Although I got a side quest. Bus, probably could if Jesse put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, Ooh. they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. Sounds like right. a good business. <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <laughs> Please? That's, that's a valid point, actually. <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Yay, I get a tour. <laughs> Quick, Cloud, walk slowly. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. Yes, more weapons, and don't armor, worry. We'll outfits. We'll pay the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Don't take your Uh, let's see. Oh, you may hear music near shops and can, uh, as you approach the source of me. That means that a music disc is available. Okay. So is there a music disc? Probably so crowded because everyone else is stuck down here. Wait. Oh. No, no. So I'm supposed to follow Tiff up, but apparently there's a music disc around here somewhere. Oh, I hear it. Okay. All the items you could want. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, 
Goosey. <laughs> Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. Ah, I got Everybody's torn kill. To fill in. I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud? Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Yes, let's do some shopping. I suppose I could take a look. All right, let's see. Buy items, materia. All right, what item? Hmm, we've got prelude, a uh, dance song. Okay, I, I think I will buy it. Yes, I can get some potions. Okay, I own thirty-nine potions. Phoenix sounds. Uh, probably won't hurt to get an antidote or two. So, all right, let's see. Materia, what have you got, pal? Healing, fire, ice, lightning, deadly dodge, I already have. Lightning, I do like lightning materia. Let's see what ice does. I eh. already have fire and healing. Actually, how much money do I have? Oh, 1,290. Okay. I can afford a lightning, I think. Yes, I will get lightning. We're good. So I've got music. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teep is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Right. So I got I got the music in my soul. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. Mm. Or you maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Ah, just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Be what now? Tiffa, you're not making any sense. What does what do those words mean? My husband decided to go to the station and see if they Nothing to report. Maintaining Hey Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. Yeah. I've got skills. Be nice. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> You're looking awfully glum. I always Are love it when they tell you to be nice and then everyone's being mean anything, to you. I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor. Am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. I'm rich. Don't 200 do gil. I wouldn't do. Break a rest spot recur. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Now, do I have to try to be nice some more to some more people? Ugh. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons store. <gasps> weapons! I want weapons. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yay! Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, yeah. When will Barrett be back with the rest? 
Before we open up tonight, it'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Buy guns! Don't really I mean... <laughs> In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. Mm. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? What? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Mm -hmm. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. Didn't I shall do that. The office, so let's head up top. But I want by guns. Better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Can I? But weapons? That maybe this guy. Okay. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. Wow, rude. Guess I won't be buying but any of your fine you weapons. Your safe, and with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. <laughs> All right, let's see. Which way am I going? Probably not that way. Okay, this way. This way. Stairs going down. We got to do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, Hello. Won't. Tifa. Hello. Hello. Tifa, Tifa, hello. Can we talk? Anything? Nothing? No. Okay. Maybe we're going in here. Huh? Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, watch the neighborhood. Stuff, really? But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great True. fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought mm. if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. Mm. For example, aha. What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? Cloud, you cloud. Kind of purist? Mod you know the sword. I have a chance to improve my gear. Oh. Come on, free Come modding, on. Cloud. At least let me show you how it's done. Enhance your sword. Spend skill points to unlock special. Let's begin the tutorial. Okay, upgrade weapons. Check. Okay. Hmm. Should I pick Cloud or I'll I'll pick Cloud. Yes. Well, let's. That's Buster Sword. Let's see. Ooh. So we got a core enhance attack, magic, max hit point. Okay. Let's see. And enhance your weapon. Let's see what we can look at here. Okay, weapon skills unlock. Okay, yep. So I can get my hit point up by 100. That's good. I can. Let's see. Magic attack. Attack power goes up. Magic attack. And that. What's the other one? There was another one, wasn't there? Nope. So I think I will do maximum hit points. And I think I will do attack up. And now I'm out of SP. So we're good. Pretty cool. Weapons, change upgrade. Yep, yep. Oh, allocation. Oh. Oh, okay, I can automate it. Huh. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Hopes of those who fight. My le weapon level is only at one, but I can do more. That's pretty cool. That, that's set. a that's a new Needless feature. To say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who listen about the new <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Between him and Wedge. There isn't anyone they don't know. 
I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But I can take you them. Don't know the way, do you? Darn it, we Tifa. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Tifa's in the party, yay. So let's see if we can. All right, let's see. Materia and equipment for Tifa. What have we got here? Wait. Set materia. She has the chakra. Uh, release your. Huh, that's interesting. So you damage yourself to uh, cure that. Let's get her some other materia here. We got healing and fire. We got lightning. The chakra. Point up is cloud is using that. Deadly dodge would probably be good for her, but hmm. Yeah, I think I'll give her lightning. Wait. And then let's see. wait, equipment. Let's take a look at equipment here. She has a bronze bangle. Can do that. Do we have power wrist guards? But I think they're being used by Cloud. Maybe I have an extra Okay, yep. Cloud has them equipped, so. I think we're all set. Alright, let's go. Oh, nope, nope. I leave by this route. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricade, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. Searching for candidates. Okay, we got a guy with a gun. <laughs> All right, so I am going to try and save. There we go, save. Yes. Slow sl saving today. <laughs> slow saving. So slaving? No. Now, slow saving. <laughs> so. If any harm comes to her. All right. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. So, the more looks... we pile up, the more they show up. Let's go in, get into a fight. I don't see any monsters. Ah, now I see monsters. And there's our first challenger. Show me what you got, Cloud. All right. I am. Wow. I am. So that's awesome. what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm up. <laughs> I'll bet. Yeah. Let's keep at it. That. Yep, yep, being awesome. So I think I'll go ahead and uh, leave the game there. You're good at this. Um, Charging in like it was nothing. You too. Thank you, Tifa. It's a little surprising. I think I'll well, probably uh, play now. a bit on my own for a while to just no uh, build up the level, the but way, not really do anything game-wise before I come back. This a lesson. But um, you're gonna stick around. yep. So okay. let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Up. I will see you in the next video. Bye.